why does this mirror become important to her because it says the truth and all the liars lie to her a woman tries to find out who she is but what does the mirror do the mirror exactly reflects how one self is or one is this is a wonderful poem which talks about the emotional state of woman and the mirror is the witness for it hello students i am anil assistant professor of english vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore today we are here to discuss a poem mirror by silvia plath for the students of bba second semester so in this module we are going to see about the poet the theme of the poem the summary of the poem and new words which are there for you to remember for this semester she is silvia plath she is one of the famous poets she is an american poet she is also a novelist and short story writer she is credited with advancing the genre of confessional poetry so confessing something most of her poems are like this confessing something which is deep inside everybody's psyche best known for two of her published collections the colossus and other poems and the ariel so these two are her collection of poems the bell jar was her semi autobiographical novel so the bell jar which symbolizes something which makes people not audible to something that is the title of her semi autobiographical novel this is about the poet silvia plath and let us see what is the theme in this poem the theme of this poem is the woman in the poem looks to the mirror in an effort to find out who she is but the mirror only reflects her exact image the theme is self reflection so theme is the self reflection a woman tries to find out who she is but what does the mirror do the mirror exactly reflects how one self is or one is let us go into the poem and see what is inside the poem what she has written she is talking about the mirror and the speaker in this poem is actually a mirror a mirror is speaking i is the first person first person narrative i am silver and exact i have no preconception whatever i see i swallow immediately just as it is unmisted by love or dislike so with these four lines we come to know that the speaker is the mirror i am silver i am made out of silver and exact i have no preconceptions i don't have any preoccupied notion about anything whatever i see i swallow immediately whatever comes in front of me i swallow immediately that means i reflect without having anything in my mind or without having any preoccupation just as it is unmisted by love or dislike so how do i reflect these things i am not biased i don't have love for anybody and i don't have hatred for anybody so i am unemotional i don't have any emotions to anything or anybody so this is how i am going to reflect i am just i am exact like this i am not cruel only truthful the mirror says i am not cruel i don't want to show something which is not but i show what is exactly in front of me so i am not cruel in this manner i am only truthful i only want to show the truth i don't want to cover up anything so that is what the mirror says i am unmisted by love or dislike so i just want to tell the truth the eye of little god i am like the eye of little god which witnesses everything which sees everything and it says i am four cornered it's a mirror a rectangular mirror with four corners so this is the mirror it says it is made out of silver it has no emotions attached to it so it is only truthful it is like the eye of the god and it is four cornered so now it talks about something it says most of the time i meditate on the opposite wall so here is the mirror and here is the wall so it says it meditates on the opposite wall 
It simply keeps looking at the opposite wall. And what does it feel? It says it is pink. The wall is painted pink. Then with speckles. There are some marks on this wall. Speckles, holes, things like that. There are some marks. There are some scratches on the wall. Then it is painted pink. There are some scratches, speckles. I have looked at it so long and I think it is part of my heart. So I have looked at it for so long. Now I think it is part of my heart. So it is there since very long. It is there since a long time. Then, but it flickers. So but what happens? It flickers. How do you understand this? Sometimes it flickers. When there is darkness, the mirror cannot see the wall. So he says, faces and darkness separate us over and over. Faces and darkness. So when somebody comes and stands in front of the mirror, it blocks the view of the opposite wall. Sometimes that is called the flickering of light. And when there is darkness, when the lights are switched off or at night. So this is what the mirror says. Sometimes it flickers. Faces and darkness come between wall and itself. Now the mirror goes on explaining something deeper in meaning. It says now I am like a lake. So now it is like a lake. Consider this is a lake. This is the background and here it is water. It is like lake. Now I am lake. A woman bends over me. A woman bends over me. Now she sits. She looks at herself. She bends over me. What is she doing? Searching my reaches for what she really is. Now she wants to know who she is. She wants to know who she is. She bends over me. I'm like lake. This mirror is talking about a woman who stands in front of it and wants to know who she truly is. Then she turns to those liars. She looks at me and suddenly she turns to those liars. Who are those liars? The candles or the moon. Those candles, they will help men or people to praise her beauty, isn't it? And the moon, in the moonlight, candlelight dinner, moon, you may imagine everything. So at this point of time, the entire society praises the beauty of a woman or praises her good qualities. So the mirror says, those are all liars. They are telling lies. They are not telling the truth. But what does a mirror do? It talks. It shows you the truth. So it says, I see her back and reflect it faithfully. When she turns away from me, I look at her back. When I look at her back, I don't have any emotions attached to this lady. I simply reflect the truth. She rewards me with tears. When she comes to know who she is truly, then she rewards me. She gives me rewards through her tears and then an agitation of hands an agitation of hands because I don't lie I don't say lie I reflect the truth I show her the truth so she rewards me with her tears and agitation of hands then I am important to her why does this mirror become important to her because it says the truth and all the liars lie to her. She comes and goes. She often comes and stands in front of mirror. She wants to know who truly she is. And then she goes. Each morning it is her face that replaces the darkness. The mirror says, each day it is her face. She comes in front of the mirror every morning. And it is her face that replaces the darkness of the night. Then, in me she has drowned a young girl and in me... An old woman raises toward her day after day like a terrible fish. Every morning, the mirror says she is drowning like a woman. And again, she raises like an old lady. She is aging. I am the witness for her aging, her sorrows, her happiness, all her emotions, all her pain, all her gain, friends, family, her psychological state. I am... A witness to all these changes. I have witnessed from her childhood. She drowned in me like a girl and she raises like an old woman. Day after day, 
like a terrible fish out of the water. If you remove a fish from out of water, that fish suffers. Therefore, this mirror is talking about a woman who goes through many emotions in her lifetime, but who is the true witness? The mirror. Sylvia Plath uses this image to express the inner emotions of a woman. I hope you understood what she is trying to say through this poem. This is a wonderful poem which talks about the emotional state of woman and the mirror is the witness for it. Now we come to the new words which are there in this poem. Preconceptions, prejudice, an idea formed beforehand. An idea before which is in our mind before we see it in actuality. So that is preconception, prejudice. We judge, we have some certain standards and we judge. So that is called preconceptions. Then unmisted, to make something clear. Misty, you might know what mist is. In the mist you can't see people or anything properly. Unmisted means something which is very clear. Speckles, a small patch of color, something of those patches, dots, holes, things like that are speckles. Then flicker, unsteady movement, move quickly, flickering of light. So even these lights, LED lights, how do they give light? They flicker very rapidly so that we don't realize that they are flickering. It is continuous emission of light that is flickering. Agitation, a state of anxiety or nervousness that is called agitation. Anxiety, a woman's anxiety. She rewards the mirror with tears and agitation of hands. When she realizes her true self, the whole world is lying but this is the mirror which does not have any emotional connection with this woman but it witnesses and reflects everything truly. So these are the words which are important. When you write answers for this poem, you have to make use of these words. Summarizing the entire poem, Sylvia Plath writes this poem, Mirror. A mirror is the speaker of the poem. Mirror tells us what it witnesses. It has seen a woman dive in it like an angel and rising out of it as an old woman. And now she is like a terrible fish. Why is she like a terrible fish? It tells us that the woman has gone through many emotional states and this mirror has reflected all her emotions truly without lying like candles or moon. So this is the summary of the poem where Sylvia Plath attempts to express the emotion of a woman through mirror. We shall meet in the next class. Thank you.